So what many people might not realize is the plague is still present throughout the world today. So this is a map with the countries in red showing where we know plague to currently exist. So that includes the United States, but also South America, Africa, Asia. And there's countries that aren't shown because maybe they're not reporting that they have plagues. So this is where we know it to exist, but it's not comprehensive. So it might be much more extensive. And so, you know, again, when, when you think of the plague, you might think of the Black Death. I think of something more like this. So the black-tailed um, prairie dog here in northern Arizona is an organism that will get bit by an infected flea. So when it gets in, bit by an infected flea, it gets the plague, it crawls into its burrow, and it dies. And so the flea hops off, and it waits for the next prairie dog to come by. So this is really the major reservoir where we see plague here in northern Arizona. So the map in the lower right shows really where plague is. So it's a disease in the western United States. And a lot of this has to do with the species of not only fleas, but as well as rodents that you know, carry those fleas. And so you can see you know, it's, in, it's in Flagstaff. It's all over northern Arizona. It's in um, New Mexico as well as southern Colorado. So it's something that we have to think about living here and it's something we have to consider. And it's not something that's you know, a, a huge risk for living here, but you know, this was a couple of years ago where there were about four deaths and 15 cases of bubonic plague in one year. And so this is why, one of the reasons why I really wanted to study this organism is you know, it has these huge historical implications, right? So it, it was involved with the Black Death, yet you can go outside you know, and, and sample for it you know, in our backyard. So it's a disease that has a lot of you know, historical as well as local implications.